Is it working? Is it all working now? Yes, yeah, South, South, sorry. Yeah, South Hall. So I like South Hall. Yeah. South Hall is nice. Yeah. Are we live? Hey, we're live. I think we're live now, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, we're back live. Apparently, uh, we were having such a good chat, we thought we would go live again. We're just going to be casual. We have nothing planned here. Um, oh, and that's the camera I'm supposed to talk to. We're, you're, you're, you're right behind the camera. So uh, I'm Coach Deb, or at Coach Deb. We have uh, at Carter Mason here. He was just on our... our uh, like official episode where we were talking about just the show. Newman, it's, Newman, it's just the story. Newman, it's just the story. <laughs> <laughs> and what I love is now we've got the guy Efren that's usually behind the camera. He's the guy who's usually rolling this for you. And how often do we get you sitting down like in front of the camera? Like I said, this is probably like, like number. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have candy in my mouth, you so could, you're gonna yeah, see like stuff going oh around. Oh, it's great breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Vegas, you need candy in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this is probably like my fifth. My fifth. So and that's because the fourth. Yeah, because the fourth, the fourth of the podcast. Now yeah. Now we finally have you on camera. Now, now on camera. I hope we're yeah. getting the B-roll here because this is like rare it's footage. World <laughs> exclusive. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Been with any fans, and I don't know if you know this, Carter, but Efren is um, again. We're, we're going to talk about Kylie Lewis. We're going to talk about the Godmother of podcasting. Pod mother. Podmother. Pod mother. Podmother. Interviews with Tech Guru, you had millions of people watching. This was like before. Before, before, like yeah, before streaming, before, cool. before people knew it was like considered live casting at the time when yeah. we were streaming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was. It's been, it's been crazy and fun, and now everybody's streaming, which is awesome. And everybody's streaming. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. you know, yeah, Justin TV, of course. Everybody's streaming on there. Yeah. Yeah. So and now you're with Justin TV. Yes, yes. Now I'm with Justin TV, Twitch TV. Um, Blowing things up there. You're becoming famous. Famous. You're gonna be no, like no. I, I wish. Him when. Yeah, I <laughs> wish. Yeah, Justin Khan is famous. He's he's the founder of Justin TV. Well, and apparently, what I'm learning is, uh, if your name is Justin, you might get hired for Justin and Trudeau. Yeah, there's like advantage. there's like 20 Justins <laughs> over there at Justin's and Twitch. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm changing my name yeah. officially to Justin. Yeah, yeah. we have a couple guys here who are actually <laughs> yeah we're on the on the Twitch they're on the Twitch TV side and yeah there's a guy named Justin. He's he's known as the Gun Run. The Gun Run. The Gun Run. The Gun Run. But uh, but his name his real name is Justin. And then you've got Justin over here. And then Justin just over chatting there. with us. Yeah. yeah. We're just kind of chatting about um, 4K, and then 8K, and I'm just enough of a geek to be slightly dangerous, and then just enough of a geek to be dorky. And s like when I when someone had a 4K name, I was like, oh, like a 4K, like a race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize this is actually. Resolution, Camera, yeah, <laughs> yeah a quality, thing. Yeah. and it's really high quality for 4K, yeah. And of course, you guys are all, you guys are, you guys know this, so you could laugh at me. It's okay. Yeah, it's but a uh, comic relief. But streaming in 4K is going to be a while, though. Yeah, but so what? So that's the biggest debate I'm yeah. finding at NAB. There's 4K, and then there's 8K. And it's like, what's the point if everyone's watching them on their mobile device? Like yeah. That's really what you're talking about. The 4K. Well, eventually it'll get there. You know, similarly, like people were like, "What's the point of streaming in HD? Nobody can view it." And like two years later, you mm -hmm. know. Everyone's watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yet, everybody, yet it's like yeah. now, like it's like a standard. It's like you yeah. have to watch it, and if it's going to be watched, it's going to be watched in 1080 or 720. Well, I see some of the things I did with YouTube. I, I literally, it was so long ago when YouTube was way before Google yeah. owned it. And the video footage, it was like the best video camera, that home video camera. We just did it like live on the beach of Hawaii. It was like a loft set yeah. not when I was living in Hawaii. And I look at the footage now, and it's so blurry. It's horrible. You could barely recognize faces. Yeah. I mean, it's fantastic if you have harnesses and, you, you know, you don't have makeup on because it's like whatever. It's blurry. I mean, now you have to be really careful. You got to yeah. put powder on. But I look back, and that was like way – it was probably eight years ago that when YouTube just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we've come – so far, and it is awesome. So I, and I, I think it's exciting. We have to keep progressing. But there is this debate of people saying, "Do we really need to f to film it in 4K and 8K?" But like you said, well, yeah, you you want to, you always want to stream and capture the latest and the greatest. Right. And like you can always downgrade and compress it. Right. And you know, it doesn't have to be seen in H in it 4K HD. Right. But like, yeah, eventually everything's gonna be super awesome HD, ultra, yeah. premium, whatever. You know, uh, it's always it's just gonna go up from here. When you were at South Hall, you you were there with all the buzz and it's South Hall. Exciting. Yes, yes, I was over at South Hall. South Very Hall just now. A anything that you saw that uh, 
up and coming that you got excited about? Like, did you geek out over there? Uh, I was like, yeah. Th- I'm literally walking around, like, waiting for people to be just knocking into each other, collision course, because you're looking around and there's all this, in, you know, excitement and entertainment things that are going on. Yeah. We're doing live productions. What, what did you geek out There's on? a lot of, like, streaming boxes. And by that, I mean, like, encoders and stuff, like the New Tech TriCaster, like, which is New yeah. Tech has been around for you know they were like the, the I like. yeah yeah they're, or they're, they're awesome and they're like one of the founding fathers of <laughs> giving the ability to almost anyone to stream live uh and and at a high production value it's right. basically like a production a studio and or production truck in a box right. um but now yeah now there's all start you know there's a lot of companies starting to come out kind of competing with them uh, so hopefully it'll help drive their prices down a little bit um, because they they are you know they're they're not inexpensive but they do have like cheaper options but um, but yeah yeah it's uh, lots of stuff coming out currently with so the streaming boxes. Help our audience because I know your Justin TV and your Tech Guru they're they're highly technical and they're pretty sophisticated but we also have a lot of people watching this streaming on nmxlive.tv or dot com mm-hmm. it should be also dot tv but um, and that's our audience of new media people right. And some of them are just getting started. So yeah. tell them a little bit about like the whole TriCaster, because that's what you guys are using here at the New Media Lounge um, at the NAD show. Tell them a little bit about what that is. And and my other question is, how expensive is the TriCaster over there? Because it looks really <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the one we have, the one that we're using here is the 460, which runs between like twenty to $25,000. Okay. Uh, but they do have like a $5,000 option. Okay. Obviously, you know, the, the smaller you get, the less inputs you get. Like that one has the ability to do four camera input. Um, the smaller one has like two or three, and then it goes up from there. Like now they have this new TriCaster 8000, which is like 60 or $70,000. Like right. it, it gets crazy. Right. Um, but you know, it's all like you can all work within your budget, that whole thing. Right. And, and like I said, there's, there's a lot more uh, of these streaming boxes coming out um, that are going to be available at mm-hmm. you know, either comparative or cheaper pricing. Okay. Yeah. Any questions, Driver Nation? No, I'm just like listening. We just did a live streaming event, our first one. We did the Indie Series Awards. Okay. And um, the big debate was, you know, do we spend the money to get a TriCaster and somebody that knows how to operate it? Just get F1. You know? (laughs) 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 And, you know, what (laughs) what we ended up doing, and in the future, we, uh, you know, if we we do more events like that, we may go with the TriCaster um, and do some different things. But we like the YouTube live events where you could – the user could switch between views and then we were like we don't really need the switching we're just going to let them do the switching yeah yeah and give it as an experience so the users could go through and on you you know you can scrub through and do some different things it was just really interesting yeah and uh it worked so it was you know but it was one of those things where when you haven't done a lot of live streaming you don't know how much goes into it and how much can (laughs) go wrong yeah oh yeah with it and we were just paranoid i was paranoid yeah you know it's like you got the face of of course it's okay <laughs> it's gonna be all right <laughs> absolutely yeah. and then you're like oh my god please bandwidth god <laughs> yeah, yeah, hear yeah, my yeah. prayer <laughs> <laughs> you know just keep it up keep the stream up <laughs> right um, and so what, what are some horror stories do you have any horror stories or what horror stories, stories? no there hasn't anything be like no, there's you're a pro. You that's right there is yeah. no horror story i don't mess up <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. At Efren. Um, but uh, but no no it's it's like there's always issues and for some reason things always seem to go wrong when they're f- totally fine like literally ten minutes before you're yep. actually supposed to go live yep. and the second you hit stream or the second you're about to hit the button to go to the newscaster or go to the whatever the actual show the main show is mm. like it crashes <laughs> or or like the internet goes down yeah and then like uh, but but for some reason we've been lucky enough where like five minutes just before it all happens okay. it all it all works again have you ever streamed from 4g have you ever streamed from a 4g yeah yeah Justin yeah, yeah we've tr- we streamed from 3g <laughs> then 2g like too, yeah only yeah. like yeah we streamed as low as like 120 kilobits per second it's been ridiculous but wow. uh oh that's low yeah so what is it traditional hd huh uh, uh, no 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 w- well okay. no no we were talking about the internet broadband the band, yeah the bandwidth yeah so like 4g oh. Like when we did the Andy Series Awards, they um, the theater did not have very good internet, and for some reason, unbeknownst to me, they couldn't upgrade it. Um, I, I I don't understand that, yeah. <laughs> but um, so we tested Verizon Jetpack 4G LTE, and um, we were actually able to s- upstream to HD mm. on it without even a hiccup. Yeah, you you can get um, you can get pretty good speeds on yeah on 4G LTE networks or whatever. Wow. Um, so you know, like compare. Yeah, right? like it's crazy here, and at conferences, mm-hmm. 
like the the internet is ridiculously expensive, like mm. unnecessarily. Oh yeah, ridiculously expensive. Like a like an, an eleven meg up, which isn't that crazy, mm -hmm. uh, is like you know twenty five hundred dollars or thirty yeah. you know three thousand dollars. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and you can get um, like a four G or LTE, you know, Verizon, Sprint, or whoever giving you like twenty five megs up, and you're only paying like forty bucks a month. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, however, but then yeah. the bandwidth that you're using yeah, ends yeah. up kicking it up a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Than that. But um, but yeah, but then and then you know, but you're in these like steel cages, and you have no signal in here, so you have to use their service. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I've noticed in Vegas hotels, n nowhere else in the world, you know, I can't use my 4G on the phone. Like I have to pay pay for internet, which everywhere else is free. Yeah. And I think part someone said that it's because they jam it so that you get out in the casino to gamble. And you get out and you, you go shop, you basically get out of your hotel. They yeah, don't yeah. want you in the hotel. Well so they do everything to make it miserable. I think the casinos pump oxygen, more oxygen, and not only in the casino, but into your rooms. Because I tell mm -hmm. you, if I have a late night in Redondo Beach where I live, <laughs> um, and I'm up until the bars close and then <laughs> go home, I am not up at 730. This morning, I woke up at 7.30, and I was awake. And I'm like, there is no logical explanation <laughs> for this. Well, yeah. They're pumping something <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, it, it, it always happens in yeah. Vegas, well, it's too. it's very stimulating here, too. You've got the bright mm -hmm. lights. You've got the city. And then, yeah, but then the sun rises. So the, the key is, you're in a dark room where you get the dark shade. And then you can sleep till 2. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the secret. Yeah. It's the good thing to survive. And that yeah, is yeah. true. I did have I did have <laughs> the <laughs> Red Bull. I did have the window open. I did forget to bring in the but big, you, you know, but so still I early. sleep through everything though. Like it's not normal. I could <laughs> like I, I really, you know. Yeah. Uh, one year, uh well this was like NM or NMX. Uh, this one it was Blog World. Yeah. Uh, Blog World like two or no, no, Blog World 3 or 4. Uh I was we had like Red Bull as a sponsor and I w and it was like we were doing all kinds of craziness and <laughs> I was like I did not sleep for yeah. like two or three days, Finish. and I was just and yeah. and they and it's when they first came out with those Red Bull shots. Yes. And so I was like on Red Bull shots yep. like crazy. Yeah. Uh, it was horrible. I wound up getting. Uh. I, was, I think I was just <laughs> this, um, earlier today. It's like I got sponsored in Red Bull at one of the blog worlds because uh, V Rich Brooks, you know, V Rich Brooks. Yeah. Marine, he's like so, and he was you know getting people filming right, and he's like so. How do you do it, Jeb? Like you're you're going to the event during the day, and then you go to all the late night after parties, and the after after parties. Cause that's where all the networking is, right? Like yeah, yeah. That's where you meet the people. I mean, that's where we. I met the guy from YouTube, like the mm. guy from YouTube, yeah. Fox News, right? So if you're not at those networking events, like you're missing out on the conference. So I didn't oh want yeah. to do that, and I'm an extrovert. But then you also wanted to learn. You know, this is when new media just came out, yeah, yeah. all the different blogging technology and podcasting. And the only way, like I did it, was like through Red Bull. And I was like talking like a squirrel, and I'm like, Red yeah, Bull, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? And he gave it to someone at, at Red Bull, and I wound up getting sponsored. And they kept like shipping Red Bull, yeah. and that was like here the year go. I worked too much. Gives you wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's seriously. ridiculous. Yeah, it's and uh, but yeah, you're Red right. Red Bull you're can right. be you dangerous, though. So. Oh yeah, very much so. Uh, but yeah, you're you're totally right, though. You know, you got to go out and you got to network and yeah. you got to go all those parties because yeah. that's where you meet all the folks and that's yeah. where you make the connections. Yeah. You know, same thing like with South by and like all these conferences. You know, you're out here. Um, you know, during the conference, yes, it's cool, but you know, you really get to know the people Absolutely. at these after events. After, after yeah, events. yeah. Well, yeah. after the, then you really get to then know you the really person. Get to know them. And then you play <laughs> cards against humanity. And yeah. You really get to yeah, know yeah, yeah. Cards yeah. against <laughs> humanity. Yeah. I played that for the first time the other day. That's yeah. a fun yeah. game. Isn't it? It's you really bond with I people dig it. and you break down all barriers because it's no holds barred. I got all excited because well, I won't tell you the idea because then you know people are actually watching this. Yeah. But um, <laughs> uh, I saw that Cards Against Humanity was made under a Creative Commons license. Yeah. But then you can't make money off of it if you do. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Creative <laughs> Commons non-commercial. Because I was all like, oh, well, my idea. And I was like, oh, crap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to work. That's a good well, game, well though. Good game. And I think, Efren, you'll probably back me up on this. Is like, And this is why we wound up streaming just now. I'm still slouching. I'm not like good posture. But I think this is where the best conversations happen when we start really talking about like what's really happening in new media. We're not... We're not trying to broadcast. We're not trying to podcast. We're not trying to speak. We're just like having conversations with geeks like us. Yeah. You know, it's like what's new, what's exciting, what's really happening. Um, when we're just, you know, there are no cameras, there are no microphones. But they are. But but, but like everywhere. <laughs> 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 you know, like that's th and so those after parties, I've learned the best apps. I've learned like what people are doing because we're all just geeking out and we're talking about stuff. Yeah. And everybody's 
you know, pa on a panel, yeah. right? Or being asked stupid questions. That's what yeah, I like uh, at South by, um, you know, that's how I heard about like Foursquare way back yeah. in the day. That's how I heard about, uh, yeah. do you remember, what was it? Yeah. Goala? Yes. Goala yeah. was like back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Your friend Dan Larson. Uh, Twitter to too, like all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, Twitter blew up at South by. Yeah. You didn't you just do South by? Like one yeah, yeah. So yeah. Booth? Yeah, well, we didn't have a huge booth. We had a, we had a huge venue. Venue? <laughs> oh, even better. So we had a, we had a venue. venue. It was literally right across the street, and we was a yeah. partnership with Indiegogo and The Wrap. That's right. Uh, and, yeah, we had a, par um, a, a venue directly across the street from the, the convention center. Mm -hmm. Literally couldn't have picked a better spot, like first in Trinity. I think that's what it was. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, Definitely it was good, good Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you have this, like, you have a window. It's like three days, four days, five days, and you got to make the most of it. Yeah. So we need a, we definitely need an energy drink sponsor for these things. Yeah, most definitely. Right? Let's bring Red Bull back. <laughs> well, Red Bull, come on back. I didn't know they were an official sponsor. Yeah. But that's <laughs> yeah, I could use another Red Bull right now, actually. It's getting that point of the day where yeah. you have the lull. It's like no you know, Red you got to rally for the nighttime parties yep. coming up, yep. you know. Yep, yep. Just kind of, it's like either Nap or Red Bull. That's yes. the, the choice. Yes this time well, of the day. And if you do a Red Bull and then you try to take a nap, you get a little bit of shut eye, but then you're awake again. You're like, okay, it's time to go. Yeah, a yeah. A little bit of each eye. Yes. But unfortunately, folks, I actually, I have a meeting at four. Of course you do. Uh, and I need I to get I'm going. I'm going to end it until you <laughs> end it. To get him in front of the camera is like, next to impossible. So this is your fifth Fifth. In front of the camera. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Yes. I'm it's a probably. It's probably. It's really. It's. It's under the. It's under like ten for sure. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if you're following us at nmxlive.com, definitely follow Efren at Efren on Twitter. And what about Facebook? Your website? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Facebook. I'm at Efren Toscano. Uh, you can also follow all the, um, you know, any network. Any network. I'm like slash Efren. Because <laughs> I'm like the tech savviest effort in the world, except on <laughs> Facebook, uh, some random dude beat me to it. Probably some Facebook employee. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> a Facebook yeah. employee, yeah. 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 Uh, but everywhere else, I'm Efren. And then, of course, you can always follow uh, Justin TV. Definitely. You can always follow Tech Zulu. Tech Zulu. Yes. Definitely follow Tech yeah. Zulu. Nice. Yeah. So now you have met the man behind the camera that makes all this possible. He's the guy who makes things happen at NMX Live at the events formerly blog world or originally blog world yes and yeah he's the guy who makes everything live stream so what you see is this is the guy that's been putting it on well thank, thank you, you folks and uh, i definitely Evan. appreciate it and i couldn't have been able to do all this stuff without nmx or blog world or any of that stuff and meet all the amazing people like yourself uh and yeah so it's it's been really fun it's been just mutually beneficial it has been yeah. it's been yes. a it's been a good uh win-win-win relationship yes with you most and definitely all the fans and nmx and and i'm gonna uh, on behalf of rick calvert i'm gonna thank you from him. Oh, seriously. well, thank you. Seriously, like you, you've been yeah. awesome. So. Oh, we, I, we, I appreciate it, and I love being here. Yeah. All Me right, too. so I gotta go, folks. Thank you once again. See you later. Bye, guys. Have a good night. <laughs> and I should have, I should have added at the end. And I'm actually tweeting. I'm not ignoring that. I'm tweeting that. <laughs>